Look, people ask me what the future is. All I know is I'll be doing this. All I know is things are moving quick. That's convenient for me because that's how I live. Now they see me out here moving up. You don't like me, that makes two of us. Time change, yeah, I can't adjust. Yo, it's who you are, not who you was. Oh my. Okay, so I was gonna put this new bar on that uh, Sean sent me, but this piece is just too thick, so that bar is not gonna work. However, he gave me new grips, and they're way better than the awful sticky ones I have. So, dude, thank you so much for sending me those. A little rushed right now, because I don't want to be late, so I'm, I'm like rushing to get ready. So, we're just gonna hurry up, get quick, and we'll probably just end up on the mountain. All right, guys, so new strategy for today's video. We're gonna go with the mouthpiece. I shall a chest mount, I think we'll get a a better shot that way. We used it at the Keystone and I, I felt like it looked really good. So we're gonna do it today on this epic mountain biking journey thing we're gonna go on. I hear it's gonna be tough. So the reason why I'm nervous about this bike ride, or one of the main reasons why I'm nervous, is Zach told me to go buy an extra tube just in case my tire pops because it's, it's a lot of rocks. And he said it's a crazy uphill, but it's like the most rewarding downhill. <laughs> I'm like, uh, okay, man, I'm in. My biggest thing is I just wanna lose weight and this is a great way to kick my butt. I'm already on the path of losing weight. I'm 11 pounds down. The uh, doing things like this, like dramatic, dramatic, uh, dramatic workouts or like epic days, I feel like are only gonna help me lose that weight a little faster. So here we go. All right, got the pump. Now let's, uh, that's where the keys are. Now let's uh, get to the trailhead. I'm so nervous. I'm obsessed with like being punctual. Like I, I hate being late to things. And when I am late to things, it gives me like this crazy anxiety. So even though I wasn't like running late, I just felt like I was gonna be late and it just was stressing me out. I don't think I can stress how important being punctual is. It, like, whether it's your job, like meeting friends, just anything you commit to, like being on time is so important. It's one of the three things in life that will make you a successful person. Because if no one can trust you to be on time, how are they gonna trust you for anything else? So one of you guys, Sean, gave me these new grips. That's what I was putting on in the beginning of the video. They're so sick. Can't wait to rock them. I'm bummed at the, the uh, grip or the, the new handlebars didn't work out because they were longer and he said that'd give me a better balance or, or easier steering, something like that. But uh, this bike is just not that legit. I'll have to use them for my next one. Last time I forgot to attach the brake and we were riding and I was like, oh no, my front brake doesn't work. An example of how like obsessed I am with be, like, being on time or early, I'm 10 minutes early today, which is like fine because I got to actually like set my bike up and be ready to rock when, by the time he shows up. Because I'm pretty sure he is a truck so he just puts the the bike in the back and like he'd had the weight on me too if i showed up late and then he had the weight on me like that's that's not a good vibe guys so now i just hope i'm actually at the right spot that's another thing i always worry about but i think we're in this i think we're there all right guys let's start shredding Yeah, you said face. I might bounce off a couple of times too. All right, about five minutes into the uphill, I'm dying. I keep bouncing off the bike. I gotta figure out how not to do that. At some point I'll hit like the zone and I'll be good. But man, this, this hobby's hard. By the way guys, there's Breck. He started in Frisco.
guys made it to the top. I think Zach doesn't want me to do this sport much longer. Yeah, that was gnarly. I would say I rode about 60% of it and then walked 40, maybe 50-50. It was work, but we made it to the top and he said he's convincing me this is the best part. So time to go down. Just so you guys know too, I'm having mad issues with this front brake. I have no idea what happened to it, but I'm afraid that it's gonna like, keep popping out on me on the way down. So we'll, I gotta like unhook it, pull it back out and then rehook it. I don't know, this might be sketchy. Come on. Hold. This sucks. Yeah, gear totally matters. This bike, I mean, it's not terrible, but it needs a lot of maintenance to it. I can't even get going without the brake just latching. Also, like, I suck at the super rocky downhill. I'm just struggling. Alright, let's try this again.
Jeez. <laughs> yeah. No. Just a bike stuck. Pride. <laughs> and my pride. Yeah. Ugh. No, I saw the, it's like a good hole, and I was like, oh, handle, like, break, and I, like, clicked it, and just went right over it. <laughs> you right? You yeah, sure? I'm good. I'm good. good. A little bump? Yeah. Sure? Slower. Yeah. Well. I'm built to tumble. Yeah, I'm good. Too bad, I you on this trail. <laughs> no, don't. Yeah. It's a good thing. I need to know what the sport has hash for me. My elbow, <laughs> like just pulled so hard on the brake, <laughs> it like went numb. Okay. Hey guys. Did it. <laughs> oh. So we made it. Sick man. I think Jonathan, if he said expletives, he'd probably want to say them on the track. <laughs> I said this is stupid the other day. <laughs> At one point. Yeah, I, I bent my wheel on that fall. Sure. Oh well. So that's a you know, an external hard case that um, comes with what the where it, where it's a, the advantage is it comes with the mic holder. So this mic holder is built into this hard case. And then on the hard case, you can actually attach different lenses, which I won't do. But then, so that's the adapter GoPro makes for the, the mic that you have to use. And then I hot glued it to the hard case, which then now it all kind of like hooks together. That sucked. <laughs> it sucked in a good way. So it's so crazy because for me, like snowboarding, I can challenge myself with snowboarding, but snowboarding is not a challenge, if that makes sense. Like I can make snowboarding a challenge, but the overall like base of what snowboarding is, like it, I got it, it's easy, I'm an expert at it. I completely sucked in that. I'm, I'm out of my element, I'm not conditioned, I don't know what I'm doing. My brake figured out that there's this little spring thing that you gotta lock in. So I was on with a busted brake when I didn't need to be. <laughs> Zach fixed it for me. The only thing that went super well <laughs> were the gloves that out, Outdoor master sent me and uh, my hands feel great, but uh, my elbow <laughs> that hurts. Oh, I went right over the handlebars. It was it was so good though to challenge myself to really put myself out of my element to be questioning what am I doing because that is when you truly find like yourself like when you're when you're at the point where you're like I should quit and turn around and go back but you keep going forward like you got, there's not many of those opportunities in life and when they do present themselves, you gotta bust through it. You can find them in activities like this or you can do it with things like your job, your family, friends, like sometimes in a relationship, it's like, dude, this is the worst. Like I, don't, like, I don't even know if it's worth keeping this buddy or being with this person. But once you push through it, like you see a whole nother side, another just perspective. All of that craziness of me rambling on, like I like mountain biking. I want to get into it, but I think like snowboarding, I'm going to be more into the like using a lift to go down the hill and eventually just getting a better bike. That that bike isn't bad. It's, it's getting it done, but it's almost like a snowboard where like an, an entry level snowboard, it's going to get the job done. But like as you're getting better and doing more, you got to you got to upgrade eventually.
With that, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I got to go get my arm cleaned up and take some pain kills before the live stream. If you missed yesterday's live stream, go check it out. They're still fun to watch even if they're not live, guys. And I do appreciate everyone that does watch them when they're not live. A couple more summer activities, guys, until we're on snow. And then it's just snowboarding videos from here out. I can't wait. But if you like today's biking video, my struggle, give it a thumbs up, give it a share, and subscribe to the channel because we make fun, awesome content daily, and we're about to be cranking out some snowboard videos. By the way, I am struggling with the daily content because some days you don't do anything. And uh, I, I feel like I'm still finding creative ways to make videos. Uh, but like the other day, I was like, I'm just going to make a dope snow snowboarding edit. I have the film, and so I did. So I hope you guys enjoyed that little beauty of snowboarding edit that was a lot of fun to just put together and with that guys as always thanks for watching keep evolving we'll see you next time i'm on top of the ocean living like life ain't frozen feeling my feet been chosen for something other than motion yeah mama told me i'ma be somebody i ain't never gonna need nobody no no i ain't never gonna need nobody no cliffhanger yes I oh jesus